YouTube, what is up? So here we are back at it again with the Cyclops from the Love Triangle 3-pack. i um, going to give you guys a in-depth look at it. I know we just kind of broad brushed it in the uh, three pack video where I showed all three figures. So I'm going to take a in-depth look at Cyclops. We just uh, finished the Wolverine. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at that, go ahead and uh, head over and uh, watch that video. So with this figure, um, the mode, everything is pretty much the same. Obviously, besides the uh, jacket, which we already saw with the uh, old man Logan and the arms from the multiple man slash every other jacketed figure, including Gambit uh, that we received before. Um, so some of the difference, obviously, we got the painted X's on the side of the uh, arms there on the jacket on the shoulder these uh pieces here are no longer plastic but more of a rubber so they're not going to fall as much as the other ones they should stay in place uh pretty snugly so the other cyclops figure uh we know that they're made of uh harder plastic so when you put them up they're they're not going to really uh stay they're going to have the tendency to fall and then you got to shove them back up and you know force them in kind of uh but okay he's not going to want to stand all right there we go so in addition to uh the cyclops we did get two additional heads sorry that's out of focus but and i um, having a hard time finding my Daredevil figure to, to the Walgreens exclusive to compare these heads. And I, I want to say that they're different. And shame on me for not going and taking a look at even images to uh, give you guys the thumbs up or the thumbs down on whether or not they're the same. But uh, not a bad look. Um, this one, definitely not the Walgreens Matt Murdock head. In fact, this one to me resembles more of Power Man than it does Cyclops, but that'll work. I mean, it'll do, right? Um, one thing that I wish they could have gave us on this, I'm not complaining, but you know, they gave us the uh double jointed elbows on the uh Spider Man New York, so I've kind of Wish they gave them to us on this figure. Although, it does work. And it's uh, not bad. So, one of the questions that I uh, received in regards to this figure was um, from Evo W. Uh, he asked if the uh, Forge's arms match with the Cyclops. And I kind of was like, why is he asking this question? That's... You know, it's, you know, why, you know, it didn't make sense. And then I thought about it. Wait a minute. If you take the jacket off, switch the arms out, it'll work perfectly. And to answer that question is they do match up. However, you're going to have to do something about this uh, paint on the shoulder here. If you can see that, if you can switch that, um, uh, I don't even know if you have to switch it out or maybe get some paint thinner and remove it or paint it. You can you can actually get more of this look with that. So let's uh, just go ahead and uh, remove these hands from this forge figure. And I want to make sure these cuffs can come off. I've never really. Okay tried to check and see well now we have another issue so with the forge figure i don't know if you can let's take a better look at that focus in on that arm come on now so the arm i don't know if that's really focusing uh tapers off here 
So with this sleeve, it's, uh, yeah, that's going to be a no-go. So from here to here, it would be okay to the elbow, but then you'd have to switch out the forearm piece with another figure and possibly uh, do some painting. So, uh, yes, the colors match up. Uh, no, it's not going to be something that you could just heat up and snap off and plug in. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I understand, you know, now why you were asking the question. But uh, if you could find something similar, then it would just be a matter of, you know, having to switch out that forearm piece and then, you know, incorporate uh, these hands. And that would work out perfectly. Uh, he did come with a changeable. That was a little easier than the last one. Uh, left hand, which, you know, simulates the you know, optic blast, if you will, uh, kind of pose. And again, uh, these two head scopes here, which are done pretty well, if I may say so myself. Uh, in the background, we do have the uh, Uncanny X-Men uh, Cyclops. Uh, the Toys R Us Jubilee Wave, and also the Phoenix 2-Pack. So these have not been opened at all. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open them all up. And uh, yeah, I kind of set that with some hesitancy. I honestly did not want to open the 2-Pack uh, there. But since we got... A new Cyclops and the new Jean Grey. We're going to go ahead and switch out some of these heads and come up with some different looks for you guys. Just so you can have an idea of what you're getting and what to expect. As far as uh, that three pack and, you know, the different looks we can come up with. All right. One second. All right. So here we have the other three Cyclops open. Missing... Uh, from this Cyclops bunch is going to be the Puck series Cyclops, which unfortunately I don't have. Um, had a couple opportunities to pick that up, decided not to. To me, the price wasn't right. Uh, now I kind of regret it, but at the same time, I didn't want to spend that money on them at the time. So it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, switch out some of these heads. And we'll take this guy here, throw this on, and uh, not a bad look for so uh, slim here. It's a good look. Then we have the uh, X Factor. Cyclops, let's go ahead and move this head. Not a bad look. We have the um, 80s version of Cyclops here. And this is from the uh, Phoenix 2-pack. Toys R Us exclusive, very expensive and hard to find now. So it kind of sucked that I opened it, but, you know, it is what it is. Not necessarily a good look, not necessarily a bad look. I mean, it's to me, that's just okay. And then we have... Uh, this look... Um, this is what he was wearing when ultimately he was killed and, you know, leading a mutant uh, revolution. Won't get into that background story too much. We all should know that. If we're friends of our 
friends. The hell am I talking about? Fans of X Men. It's not terrible. I actually think this is going to be a better looking uh, head scope here. Yeah, I think that's a better look for him. Although this one, well, I guess it's not too loose. It's actually pretty good. It's a good look. And then working our way backwards again with the Phoenix 2-pack. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then the Warlock Wave. Which is a really good look. So let's go ahead and uh, switch out some of these with the newer figure. Um, if we haven't seen that yet in the other video, just go ahead and do it for you guys here. If you don't want to go, just in case you don't want to go back and check that one out. Good look. And here we go. I actually like the way this head looks on this figure more so than the other one. But that's just me. Oh, uh, what else? Is there anything else to talk about? So we talked about the forge. Um, yeah. So we know that, it, again, those are arms are similar to what we got with Gambit and Multiple Man. But, uh, yeah, I've not looked at these other Cyclops. So, like I said before, sorry if I geek out on them. And, uh start looking at them off camera and stuff like that so as a collector I am an absolute huge fan of uh, these figures and these characters where did the other head go so take that put that on actually let's do it here which I don't know. I don't like the uh, maskless. Uh, I don't like having a maskless head on this version of the Cyclops. It just doesn't do him any justice. So we're going to go ahead and put his original head back on. Set him off in the background somewhere. And uh, later we're going to be doing a video on this two pack. And we'll put the two brothers together and see how they... Uh, you know, look together, but, uh, yeah, man, um, I think it's cool, I, I kind of dig it, um, I know a lot of people are gonna say, you know, if they did this for the, uh, let's see if this will fit on here, should, if they did this for the, uh, X-Force, or X-Factor, Cyclops, they could have, uh, done it for this version, and I will agree. However, we we got some stuff going on here where these seams don't line up. And I've seen people actually remove this and place it on the other Cyclops, which is not a bad idea. Uh, and it could possibly work with this head. But this whole thing is like two separate pieces. I don't know if you can tell. So you maybe not you're maybe not able to tell there, but here, for example, you can see that separation. Come on, focus now. You can see that separation here. And definitely here. So it would have been uh kind of tough to do that. But then again, they could have gave us another head with a seam at least. That way we could have had this look here which 
is that lit there, right? But, um, you know, other than that, I think it's a good figure, good look. Um, pretty happy about it. Uh, no complaints. You know, a few minor ones, actually. But uh, we know how it is. And uh, maybe if I could figure something out as far as swapping the hands for you guys or these arms, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, try to talk about that at a future date. But uh, as of now, as always, please like, subscribe, and take care.